It's Friday, May 12, 2006, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and even though it's Casual Friday, hey, I put a coat and tie on even though I'm not leaving the house. Well, Fridays here on The Ointment, we do our Week in Review wrap-up, so let's get to my favorite stories from the past week. Our top story, President Bush had made his pick for the new CIA director, and it's already coming under fire because he selected a general. His name is Michael Hayden of the Air Force, and a leading Republican who thinks it's a bad idea to pick a military man to lead the spy agency. He said it's the wrong person in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Bush's response, yeah, that's why I picked him. He's just like me. Turning to the war on terror, President Bush reportedly wants to close the prison camp at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, but he apparently wants to close the camp with Cindy Sheehan, Senator Russell Feingold, and Hillary in it. And on a lighter note for the president, in a recent interview he said the finest moment of his presidency, it was when he caught a perch at his ranch. And I could see this, fishing, relaxing, a good time. And given the way the war on terror is going, I think this is just about the only time when the president has caught anything. We Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld said we need to be cautious when looking at intelligence on Iran, considering the mistakes that were made in regard to Iraq. He said this time, when we make those mistakes, we've got to make sure there's no evidence. Turning to business news, the Walt Disney Company is severing its ties with McDonald's after a 10-year successful partnership, so no more of those. Disney characters in the Happy Meals. This over concerns with childhood obesity. The final straw was when the McDonald's company suggested to Disney they issue a Happy Meal with seven characters by the name of Chubby, Gooey, Flabby, Stocky, Portly, Lumpy, and Arterial Sclerosis. Interesting note about Churchill Downs. Over the weekend they served a $1,000 mint julep. A thousand bucks for a cocktail. Hey, I know you think it sounds like a lot of money until you hear it. That includes the stud fee. Tom Cruise is licking his wounds. He only made $48 million at the box office this weekend for Mission Impossible 3. Apparently expectations were even higher. But he has this good news to comfort him. Nicole Kidman in an interview said she still loves him. And this can only mean one thing. The checks are still clearing. And finally, it's time for your Week in Review news quiz question. Hey, you try saying news quiz question three times real fast. Here's your question. Get out your pencils and tell me this. Which of the following records was broken this week? Was it A, Babe Ruth's home run total? B, the all-time Dow Jones industrial average? Or was it C, the number of people now not returning George Bush's phone calls. Well, that's another week here on The Ointment. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody.